Today, I want to look at creating appointment slots. Appointment slots are a great way to allow multiple people to uh, make appointments for things like conferences or um, uh, reserving a lab or reserving equipment or whatever. And it takes a lot of the burden off of the person who's doing the scheduling. So let me show you how this works. First of all, I need to be in a Google Calendar that's part of Google Apps for Education or Business. Uh, this doesn't work from just a plain old Google account. Second, I don't can't do this from month view. I need to be like in week view or day view to do this. I'm going to do this from week view. And now uh, I'm just going to schedule an appointment as or schedule an event as I normally do. I'll just click on a area where I want it to start on the day where I want it to start. And you'll see that I, in addition to event at the top of the screen, I also have appointment slots. So I'm going to click that to set this as an appointment slot. And I have to label what the slot is going to be for. Let's say I'm doing this to allow people to book a computer lab. So I'll just type lab. And at this point, I still need to do a little bit more. I'm going to click on the edit details. And here I can really control how this is going to work. Okay, let's work from the top down. So, well, first of all, this link is the link that I will be sending people uh, so that they can click on that link and actually get here to book their appointments. Now I'm going to go here and I'm going to set the time frame. So this is starting at 9 a.m. And I want it to go till, uh, let's say, about 3 p.m. So, you know, I'll fill out the whole school day. And... I will allow this to go, actually, let me take this back. I'm going to do this more for like 1.45 p.m. We don't want to make the day any longer than we need to. Let me make this 45. And I'm going to make this these slots 45 minute slots so this will enable people to book the lab for 45 minute intervals if they want to next I'm just gonna click the repeat button now what this is enables me to do is create this event so that I can fill out the entire school year with it here's how I'm gonna do this I'm gonna have this repeat every weekday from Monday to Friday and uh, I want it to end at a specific time. I could set this date on to you know, be the end of the school year or maybe the end of this marking period or however you want to look at it. I'm just going to leave this to what it's defaulting to right here, which is just December 6th. It doesn't really matter. You'll see how it works one way or the other. And now I'm going to click Done. At this point, I'm in pretty good shape. I've got my link and uh, I can hit my save button and you'll see that these slots are allotted throughout my calendar and I can scroll through and they're going through now we want to see what this looks like from the end users standpoint for the person who's actually booking a workshop so I'm going to take this link and just copy it very quickly and I'm going to just paste this in now I'm logging in as a different user at this point so that I can see what it looks like. Okay, so now this has got me into this calendar. Now see how I have all these lab things here? This might be a lab with a room number, uh, however you want to split it up. And let's say that I want to book my lab on the uh, 14th and uh, in this time slot from 9.45 to 10.30, I can just book that. If I want to put in something with a description, um, I can say something here, uh, like I could say I need a projector, and I'll hit save. Okay, it's now telling me that my appointment has been saved. Uh, I can either view it in calendar, but this actually puts it into my Google Calendar at this point. So I can click view in calendar, save, and there it is in my calendar. Now let's let a, let's go back to the other calendar I have, the one where I created it. Let's see what that looks like. And uh, if I click here, you'll see that that's been reserved. 
This makes booking my lab easy, automatic, and uh, pretty much foolproof. Enjoy.